Blessed day, my people. So today we have some breaking news, and this is about Canis Jackson. Now, basically, the man who them all on the 50-year-old mechanic, yeah, man, people, the man finally confessed to doing it. As you know, say, people, I'm just glad to at least now the family get some form of justice and thing, because if you know, watch the interview with um the mother and like our family members and thing, you know, you can see there are some nice people. I not tell no lie. But I'm definitely glad so the man just admit it and done. You understand me, so people? And the thing is, you know, yesterday them did find our handbag and you know the same car that everything they took place, yeah man, them did find it yesterday as well. And obviously that car would have linked back to him. You get what I say? So you know everything does take your time and put together or I come together, I should I say. So, I have to definitely big up to the, the poor poor them for do them job. You get me? Because them definitely dip on top of things. That's why sometimes when I see some people are bash them, they will join in on it, you know, because we have to give them time for do them job. You understand? And we know a lot of persons, they kind of skip it because they must say, yo, how them hold somebody so fast and this and that. You get what I say? But as I say, it happened, the guy say what I have to say. And also, I'm going to play a small interview with DCP Fitzbailey. You know, I think this interview was on Nationwide News where him just a tell, you know, exactly. Him just a update the people him basically on this case. Is it my people? So check this out. Based on what we have been told is that, um, as, as indicated, he used to offer a right to work. And that specific morning, he did the same, but gave a story that he had, he had forgotten a piece of tool at his house. So he returned to collect the tool, and I think that's when, you know, the incident happened. Is it your information, DCP, that Miss Jackson was strangled by her killer? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we have. That's what we suspect. And um, we also find additional material to support that. Oh, no. All right, people. So now here we have to say, and trust me, this is like great news. And even though it now can bring her back, but, you know, from the family get some form of justice and, you know, them feel, um, I don't even want to use the word better because obviously, you know, nothing can actually make them feel that way. But that kind of gives them a sense of relief if you don't understand what I say. So, yeah, people, I want to big up the poor poor them in the comment section. And, you know, hopefully we can get some more of them money where I do them thing here because it enough for the people. When we say enough, I mean it enough. So it's just the people them for work together. You know, we all are one. We want to protect the youths them. And, you know, we never can tell what this girl would have end up being a people. She could have did, could probably come be the next prime minister or even some doctor who would have helped out a lot of persons. But at the end of the day... The whole thing just mess up and that's all I'm going to say. But as I say, people, leave in the comments. Let me know where you think about this. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And if there's any more, anything at all, I want to make you know when it comes to this whole thing. I definitely will make you know. You understand, people? So bless up on yourself and keep safe. I'm out.